Hello, my name is Håkon and today I'm going to show you just this tiny little, little thing you can do with the sequencer on the Zoya. Now, of course, um, for those who don't know, the Zoya is a modular synthesizer slash effects unit slash whatever you want it to be kind of device uh, stomp box um, from Empress Effects. And I bought it mainly to use as a reverb and delay, but it has so many other functions too um, that I like getting into. So I've started experimenting a little bit and uh, one of the things I've started playing around with uh, since yesterday is sequences. Uh, or certainly I've done it a lot more since yesterday. Now, uh, when you're running a sequencer, for instance now there's a sequencer running here, um, sometimes you want to add variations on that sequence as a sort of a one shot. Uh, I'll just play you what this sounds like now. So this is just a simple oscillator that's run into a VCA, that's run to the output. The VCA is controlled by an ADSR envelope. I didn't fit that in on the previous page. And the sequences and the envelope are triggered by an LFO, which is down here. In addition to that, I wanted to have a main repeating melody as a sequence. I'm just doing five notes just to show you how and, and just, it makes one line of sequencer. But in addition to that, when you push a few buttons like these two over here, another sequence runs in parallel with this one and it adds to it its own CV values. So I'll push this and this one down here is added. And if I push the green button here, this one here is added. I could push both at the same time. It's a bit tricky to get it to sync. There we are. Uh, seems to hold them and release is, yes, just hold them both down works actually quite well. So I'll just show you how to make this little thing. It's uh, it's very useful. You could have a main sequence going and you can have these little variations. Uh, now the problem with this method of doing it, of course, the simple method of doing it with just a sequencer is that it only adds to the CV value, so it increases the note values. It can't make it go down with this method. You'd have to add something else to do that. Um, but it's quite possible to do, but it would have to be a little bit more elaborate because the sequences only allow for positive values of CV, not negative. So, so I'll just show you how to do that. I'll just go and get a blank patch on my Actually, I'll just save this one first. Oh, actually, I forgot to save it now. Never mind. Um, I'll just redo it again. Uh, it's nothing, nothing fancy. So we're starting, uh, of course, uh, for your sound source, you could have a MIDI output, for instance. But in this case, since I'm demonstrating it, I've got a um, an oscillator made by the Zaya itself. Uh, I'll just do a uh, triangle wave. Um, just a simple one like so. Um, and then we've got the VCA that we're running it into. So it's one channel in, one channel out, nothing nothing fancy. So the first here is that's this oscillator frequency, that's the one we're modulating with the sequencer afterwards. And this is our audio output, which I will go into the, the VCA input. Uh, and then I will need an audio output over here so I can get the sound out. Um, I don't like having the audio outputs red because it's nice to see if they're clipping very clearly and, and of course when something a signal clips it shows as red. So I'm going to make it yellow. I also like having game control on my output um, just in case I need to, to attenuate the signal a little bit or, or increase it indeed. Um, stereo, well I don't need stereo for this, but just generally I usually do stereo for all my outputs. So now the 
This is the voltage control, which hasn't been connected to anything yet. That's why we need the ADSR envelope. And then it's the audio output, which goes to the left and right channels of the audio output module over here. So far, so good. Um, then we need an ADSR envelope. I'll just make it on this page and move it to the second one. Um, so that is an audio module, isn't it? Uh, let's see. No, it's a control module. I'm not used to using the Zoya much yet, so I'm still learning as I go along, and sometimes I forget what category I'm supposed to look at. So we've got the ADSR envelope, um, and uh, I think we are all fine to go here, just like so. And uh, so that's got a gate input. Attack, decay, sustain, release, standard ADSR, and then a CV output. Uh, the CV output is going to go to the level control of the VCA. So the ADSR envelope controls the voltage controlled amplifier. But how do we control this? Uh, it needs a gate input, so and that's going to come from an LFO. And uh, I'll just make the LFO down here. Uh, let's see, that's a control module module again, LFO. And make it a square wave. I like having swing control so I can have a little bit of fun with it. Um, like so. So now that's already, oops. Now that's already flashing there. So that's your standard default LFO rate, which is 1.1 hertz. 66 beats per minute. Okay, so can move it up a little bit to 80. It's a little bit faster, and that goes into the gate input there. And now you can see it is active. You can probably hear the sound now because it's quite low frequency. I'll just there it is. I'll just move it down again. Um, so that's one thing. And now of course we want a sequence to to run. So I'll just for controlling the pitch of the oscillator. So we have a control module sequencer. White is fine. Number of steps I'll go with one, two, three, four, five. Also want restart jack to be on. I'll sh get back to that later. And behavior loop that is a default and that's what we want from the main sequencer um, in this video I'm going to show you how to do modifying sequences and when a sequencer is meant to modify another once when you push a button then you don't do loop anymore it's a, it's a one shot so I'll just start with that one so that's one sequencer and so all the note values are now a0 which is a default uh, and the CV output, we will punch into the CV of the oscillator. And that means whatever is here, whatever note value comes from here, will be added to the note value that's on the oscillator. Of course, you can add a different frequency here, and they will be added together. I'll just go take that back to the bottom. Uh, let's put in some values here. Uh, now it's using the first one there as default. So F2, G3, C3, G3, and maybe F. F2. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. I'm just, just trying things out now. Okay. A G. Okay, let's do with a G there. Now this still needs a gate input, so I can use the LFO as the gate input, and then it starts cycling through the different values, note values on the sequencer, and it goes out here and in here, and you can see the different note values there. Now let's say we want to modify this with a second sequencer. So I'm going to include another one here, so sequencer. And I'll also make that five steps. 
with the restart jack and behavior one shot. This now should only run when it's triggered, it will only run once. And these note values will then be added again to the oscillator input. So that means I'm thinking now in terms of intervals, and of course the way we're doing it now is intervals upwards. So the first one here is, I'll leave that the way it is, so no interval. The second one, I go up three, four, five steps. The third one, I go up um, maybe two steps. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps, and maybe in two, three, four, five, Six, six steps, just to be a little bit original there. This also needs a gate input, and we're going to use LFO for this as well. So it, it doesn't have to move in the same speed, you can use a different LFO, you can do different ways of changing the speed, you can even uh, decrease the value here and actually, of the connection, and uh, make it go at a different speed. But we'll do it like that. Now it's done its one shot, it needs to be restarted. Um, and the only way it restarts is you can't push this button. This needs a value of one to restart. So I'm going to go and make a control module that is a uh, trigger. Uh, that's not the right one. That's not what you're supposed to do. Sorry about that. Um, trigger is not the one I, I want. I want... Um, uh, what is it called again now? See, I am learning while I'm doing this as well. Is it... Oh, interface module, of course. It is a... Um, push button is what we're looking for. Push button. Now trigger is useful as well sometimes. On push button, every time you push it, it creates a value of one. So, and that one can be used to restart this one. Okay, so now every time I push this button, this sequence will trigger and add its note values to the oscillator frequency. But what if I always want it to be, because that can be quite nice, having them out of sync, and, but if you want them always to be synced together, you can make this push, push button also re-trigger the other sequence, so I'll do like this. So now they sync up so that the melody becomes the same every time you do it. And, uh, and you can do it whatever way you like, whatever suits your music, whatever you want to do with it. Um, now I'll just demonstrate doing a second one as well. I'll just remove, I'll just move this um, the ADSR envelope to the second page, like so. Just to make room for one more of these. So I'll copy this, shift, copy, and then we glue it in there. And keeping all the connections. So this one now triggers the same time as... So now I've just got a copy of this down here. Um, if I want to remove this connection now, like so. So now this is not connected to anything. The, the re-trigger of this is not connected. So I'll make a second push button. Like so, and this one triggers this and the main sequence, so they're in sync. So now I can trigger the bottom two here, so the main melody plus the first modifying sequence, and I push the green button and I trigger the main melody and the second one. Now, of course, now they're identical. I'll just make it a little bit different now, just put some random things in here. So now second one, because I can do them both at the same time as well, 
and all the note values are added together. So I'll just get a little bit more speed out of this. And a little bit of swing. So it's quite simple, simple in principle, and you can do a lot of stuff with this when it comes to varying uh, your note sequences and having a little bit of fun with it. Um, so just uh, not no attempt here to make a melodic example. I'm just done some something a little bit random just to show how it can work. So very simple. You have a main melody sequencer and you have a modifying one. So you can have as many of these as you like as long as there's uh, processing power. See this doesn't use much. It's at 14% now. Because often you would use the pedal also for effects in addition to whatever else you're doing. And uh, normally I would be doing this with uh, a MIDI output instead of uh, an oscillator. So... I usually get a bit out of sync when you do this with both buttons, but I'm sure there are ways you can actually make that always line up if you want to. Um, I think it's more interesting actually not making them line up. Um, and if you have to actually time when you push them to coincide with the other sequence coming to an end, um, if you wanted to. So, um, actually, if I do like this and remove the... So now the these buttons don't re-trigger the main sequence. You can start them whenever you like. Uh, and you can, of course, you can still trigger them at the right time to, to match with the main sequence if you want to. Or not. So just a simple tutorial today, um, nothing fancy, just a really basic thing that can be fun to use and include in your own patches. And hopefully that gave you some ideas that you might use and, uh, and hopefully you learned something new. And uh, if you did, please comment and uh, like and, and let me know. Um, and also let me know what you've been using it for if, you, if it helped you in any way. So thanks for watching and um, I'll, I'll see you later with another video about the Zoya or something else because I make different videos on this channel for, for all kinds of things. So um, goodbye for now. Bye bye.